असलम सिक्स क्लास वेलकम इन सेकेंड सेमेस्टर आई एम होपफुल यू आर ऑल फाइन एंड डूइंग वेल आई एम योर इंग्लिश टीचर एंड हेयर इज़ अ वर्किंग ऑफ डे टेन सो लेट्स वर्किंग हेयर आर द वर्ड्स मीनिंग द फर्स्ट वन इज़ पाथ रास्ता मिडो चरागा अपियर्ड नमोदार हुआ प्लेस जगह फील महसूस करना ट्रेड कुछ चलना या कदम रखना फियर डरा हुआ फ्रॉन घूरना या खफकी ट्रेस पास दाखिल देना या मुदाखलत करना वेंचर जरत या हिम्मत हेयर इज़ द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फाइंड फोर वर्ड्स टू द फर्स्ट फोर लाइंस डेट इंडिकेट डेट द वॉकर इज वर्डिड फोर वर्ड्स इन द फर्स्ट फोर लाइंस डेट इंडिकेट डेट द वॉकर इज वर्डिड डियर अर्ट कॉशन वेरी एंड फियर वाट इज़ द वॉकर वर्डिड अबाउट ही इज़ वॉकिंग अक्रॉस अ मिडो स्वात विच इज प्राइवेटली ओन सो ही इज़ वर्डिड डेट द ऑनर विल कम एन रिप्राइटमेंट वाई डज स्पीकर वॉकर कीप ऑन गोइंग इवन दो ही इज़ वर्डिड द वॉकर कीप्स ऑन गोइंग इवन दो ही इज़ वर्डिड बिकॉज एवरीथिंग अराउंड हिम अपियर सो ब्यूटिफुल The walker meets people as he walks. What does that mean? He think that are they are thinking about him. The walker thinks that the people he meets as he walks are thinking disapproving thoughts about him because he has trespassed. What does the walker wish for? The walker wished that he could have such a place for himself. The poet has used the same word to start six of the fourteen lines in the poem. What is the world? What impact does it have the poet has used the word and to start six of the 14 lines in the poem the impact is that it creates the sense of an ongoing journey his walk and the sense of connected thoughts that walking often produces here's the next one how many sentences are in the poem is there a different mood or feeling in the last two stanzas There are two sentences in the poem the first sentence contains longer section that run over the line and the place is faster in the second sentence because it is shorter it also contains a lot more punctuation which makes it seem like he is being more decisive what does the walker decide in the final lines of the poem In the final lines of the poem, the walker decides that he cannot walk on another person's land because he was he has not got the freedom to do so. He is not wealthy enough to have the right to walk freely without judgment. Here is the next question: Where had the walker been before he reached the road? Walking on private land, a meadow. Here is the next one. What happened on the road, and what does the walker think? He passed strangers and thinks that they know he has been trespassing. And here is the last question from today's working: Why might a walker want to leave the road to walk elsewhere, to explore and to see different sights, and to be off the beaten track? So, dear students, that's all about my today's working. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.